Some EV mods are banned, locked, or technically illegal. Yet they can make your battery run stronger, charge faster, and last longer. From hidden software tweaks to power unlocks manufacturers never talk about, these changes reveal performance most EV owners never experience. They're not in your owner's manual, service centers won't mention them, but inside the EV community, enthusiasts know the truth. Today, we reveal 5 forbidden upgrades that boost real battery performance and why automakers fight to keep them secret. And a final one, so powerful that firmware engineers debate whether it should even be legal to install. Here's the upgrade that manufacturers specifically track for and the one that could void your warranty instantly. Number 5. Battery Management System or BMS Unlocks or Recalibrations Car companies don't tell you this, but most electric cars have a little secret hiding in their battery. The full battery you paid for isn't always the full battery you're using. Tesla, Nissan, and BMW often lock away a chunk of it, anywhere from 5 to 20 percent, just there, unused. They call it a buffer to make the battery last longer or to separate different car models. For example, a Tesla Model S60 actually has a 75 kilowatt hour battery inside, but the software blocks off 15 kilowatt hours so you can't touch it. That means you might be carrying around enough extra power for 40 to 50 more miles of range, but it's locked away behind a line of computer code. Same with a Nissan Leaf, and some tech-savvy EV owners didn't take that well. They figured out how to recalibrate or unlock that extra battery capacity using special diagnostic tools or software tweaks. And guess what? It works. These BMS recalibrations often unlock an extra 10 to 20 percent of usable energy, which means real extra miles, stronger acceleration, and less time worrying about running out of charge. Some people call it finding free range. But here's where it gets more serious. Once you mess with that battery management system, you're officially breaking the rules. The EPA calls it tampering because it changes how the car handles emissions-related software. Even though EVs don't have tailpipes, it's the same law used for people who modify gas engines. And of course, your warranty is toast the moment you do it. Automakers can spot it during a service check because the software logs every change. So if your battery later overheats, loses power, or gets a recall, best believe you're paying for that repair out of pocket. But people still do it because they'd rather use their EV's full range and stretch their battery's potential than watch it stay unused. Number 4. Aftermarket Boost Modules or CAN Bus Intercepts you probably didn't know that there are small plug-in boxes out there that can make your EV literally jump. They're called boost modules, and they work by tricking the car's brain. One of the most talked about is the Ingenix Boost 50, made for the Tesla Model 3 dual motor. It plugs into a port that connects to the car's main computer called the CAN bus. That's where all the car's systems talk to each other, your brakes, motor, battery, everything. Now the Boost 50 sends its own messages into that system, telling the car to unlock more torque and acceleration. Real tests even show it cuts the 0 to 60 time by about half a second, which is a really big deal when you're already driving a fast car. Some drivers say it feels like a hidden sports mode that Tesla forgot to tell you about, even though what's really happening under the hood is pretty simple. Most EVs have more power available than they allow you to use. Manufacturers cap the torque or limit how much current the motors can pull from the battery to protect parts or separate model levels. A Model 3 standard and a Model 3 performance performance can be almost identical inside, except for the software that emphasizes you're only allowed a certain amount of power. The Boost 50 and other devices like it fool the system, so the car thinks it's a higher-end version. It's just like putting sunglasses on the car's computer so it doesn't notice what's really going on. Then there's the upside that's really hard to ignore. A simple plug-in mod and your car suddenly pulls harder, reacts quicker, and feels brand new again. Owners often say it's the best $1,500 upgrade they've ever spent, with no new parts or tools. Only plug-and-play, but the risks are real too. 
Tesla doesn't take kindly to this trickery. The company can spot these modules during remote checks and disable certain features through over-the-air updates. Some people have even lost supercharger access because the system flagged them for an authorized modification. It's also considered a violation of Tesla's user agreement and falls under the same rules that make phone jailbreaking a gray area under the DMCA law. But trust that that hasn't stopped curious owners from trying it. The temptation of extra torque is still just too strong. Number 3. Battery Thermal Management Overrides Now let's talk about how cold weather is one of the biggest bullies for electric cars. When the battery gets too cold, it doesn't want to charge fast or give out full power. That's why newer EVs have something called a thermal management system. It warms up or cools down the battery before charging or driving. But here's the thing, the car decides when to do that, not you. So some people got tired of waiting and found ways to take control of it themselves. Using third-party apps or hidden software tools, they can tell the car, hey, warm up the battery now. Even when the manufacturer says no, in freezing weather, that can make charging up to 30% faster. Tesla owners in Canada and Norway swear by it. They preheat the battery before getting to a supercharger and instead of waiting 40 minutes, they're done in 25 or 30. What's actually happening is that the battery cells charge best when they're warm, usually between 70 and 100 degrees Fahrenheit. If you plug in with a cold battery, the car has to warm it first, and that takes time and extra power. Normally, the car won't let you manually trigger this process, but EV enthusiasts found ways around it. They use apps that connect through Bluetooth or Wi-Fi to the car's internal system. The car then starts to drive smoothly because a cold battery limits acceleration to protect itself. Once warmed, it gives you full power again, but manually forcing the system can wear out the heating elements or cause uneven temperatures in the battery pack. Over time, that can hurt long-term health, which is why manufacturers lock it behind software controls. And yes, these tricks are technically off-limits. They can count as unauthorized access or a violation of terms of service, depending on where you live and how the mod is used. Automakers can also void your warranty if they see the log showing you use non-approved apps to control thermal systems. That really doesn't stop people from trying though. Track racers absolutely love it because a warm battery gives consistent power lap after lap. Besides, nobody likes waiting 45 minutes for a charge when a quick warm-up could cut the time in half. Number 2. Custom Charging Profile Modifications Coming in at number 2 is the illegal mod EV owners who don't like waiting around for their cars to charge love. Instead of doing all that waiting, they play with how much power the charger sends to the battery. Every electric car has limits set by the manufacturer for how fast it can charge. Those limits keep the battery safe from overheating or early wear, but some people change those limits by modifying the charging system. They do this either through software inside a car or by altering their home charger, also called an EVSE. For example, they might raise the current limit from 32 amps to 40 or even 48, or they might tell the car to accept more voltage than it was built for. That means the battery fills up faster. On paper, it sounds like a really clever trick with 5 to 10% faster charging time and no new hardware needed. But in real life though, things can get pretty messy if you don't know what you're doing. The reason these limits exist is simple. Electricity creates heat, and too much heat ruins batteries. EV batteries are sort of like people. They hate being too hot or too cold. When you force a battery to take in more current than it should, the internal temperature can rise fast. The car's cooling system will try to keep up, but it's not designed for extra stress. Over time, this kind of charging can make the battery lose range sooner. It's also a fire risk if the wiring or outlet can't handle the higher current. There have literally been cases where people modified wall chargers and the wires inside overheated. Insurance companies usually don't pay for damage like that because the charger was no longer UL or CE certified after the modification. Basically, if something burns, you're on your own. Even though it's risky, some owners still do it because they want total control of their EV. Number 1. Root Access and Firmware Rollback 
Finally, at number 1 is the Epic Modafall. Some owners roll back firmware to regain features or range removed by updates. That requires full root access, essentially hacking the car's operating system. Almost every electric car, from Tesla to Nissan to BMW, hides a part of the battery's energy to make it last longer. For example, a car might have a 60 kilowatt hour battery, but you can only use about 52 or 54 of that. The rest stays locked away by software. This hidden section prevents the battery from fully charging to 100% or draining to 0%, which are the two worst states for battery health. That's how some older EVs still hold a decent charge after 10 years, but here's where people get curious. Tech-savvy owners have found ways to unlock that hidden part of the battery using software tools or third-party recalibration. When they do, the car suddenly shows more range and a bit more punch in power. This hidden reserve can be anywhere from 5 to 20% of the total battery. That means a 250-mile car could go to 270 or even 300 miles after unlocking. Some people do it for bragging rights, while others just hate seeing unused energy sitting there. Certain EV tuning shops offer this service, calling it a BMS recalibration or capacity unlock. It tricks the car's battery management system, or BMS, into thinking the pack is smaller, so it opens up that reserved section. Tesla hackers were the first to make this popular, followed by people with older Nissan Leafs who wanted extra range after years of battery wear. A few BMW i3 owners also do it for quicker acceleration, since the BMS controls power delivery too. Of course, the manufacturers hate this because it breaks warranty rules and safety standards. Unlocking that buffer means the battery cells now get fully charged and terribly drained every day, which wears them out faster. In fact, some people notice their cars lost 10% of range in a year after unlocking, so you've got to be really careful if you'd like to try or already use this mod. See you in the next video!